Walking on water. Sometimes it seems like the longer we spend daydreaming about our goals, the more out of reach they become. It can be defeating to realize that what we want to do is going to require tremendous efforts on our part, and that effort may seem out of our league. These types of realizations can leave us feeling defeated and unmotivated, even before we take the first step in trying. Defeatist attitudes are the fastest way to destroy our own happiness. Sure, dreaming big is often discouraged because big dreams require a lot of work and a lot of resources. But that doesn't mean that we can't accomplish great things, even as a team of one person. What it means is that we have to look outside of ourselves, beyond our brainwashed minds, telling us that all we have in life are limitations, and realize that when we break the glass ceiling over our heads that keeps us trapped in our own discouragement, anything is possible. However, for us to actually make any headway in achieving our goals, we have to do so with a practical and measured approach. We hear all the time about the rare genius who was able to make an idea and turn it into a wildly successful reality. We often view these people with awe and disbelief, as if they are larger than life, and it is somehow a fluke or a strange event that had contributed to their success. We are all impressed by people who are able to go out there and achieve the goals that they set for themselves. But what most of these people will tell you is that there's nothing all that special about them. The reason they were able to accomplish their goals had less to do with opportunities and connections and networking and everything to do with their own ability to plan ahead and see things through to the end. Their goals were achieved because they had the secret to walking on water figured out. They knew how to break their goals down and work on them bit by bit until they were accomplished. And that's exactly what you have to do too. It isn't impossible to achieve your dreams. In fact, all it takes is some serious planning. Start out with looking at your end goal. Visualize it and write it out in detail so that you know exactly what it is that you are aiming for. Go backwards from there. For example, if your dream is to have a successful business, what is it that you have to do to get there? Well, for a business to be successful, you will need good clients. To have good clients, you will need a product and a service that they can trust. To do that, you need to hire a good team that gets the job done and have a product that people are willing to pay for. For that type of product, you need to first get a patent on the product and have it developed and tested out first. To do that, you need to research patents and brainstorm ideas for the types of products you would be interested in providing to consumers. And no matter where you are in the stages of your life and in developing your business model, you can definitely put a few hours aside per week to go toward research. Start with the small aspects of your big plan and keep knocking them out of the park one by one. Break the goal down into small, easy-to-digest pieces that are easy for you to understand or work toward accomplishing. This is truly the key to being able to walk on water and achieve things that other people might think that it is impossible for you to do. Everybody wants to be able to do great things in life, but without understanding the nature of achieving goals and how to get from point A to point B, there's almost no point in even considering such goals. You have to be willing to put the work and dedication into making sure that you have a blueprint to success all laid out and ready to go. Don't stress yourself out worrying about the big picture and feeling overwhelmed by the huge dream you want to reach. Instead, break that huge dream down into smaller dreams that ultimately come together to form the big picture. That is a simple and surefire way to getting your goals accomplished and turning your dreams into a reality. Goal. Instead of being overwhelmed by the amount of work needed to put into achieving a dream that looks too good to be true, try buying a notebook and writing down your goal. Think backwards about the steps that you have to take to achieve that goal and break the big ideal down into smaller goals that can be achieved over time. If you don't want to go backward, that's fine. You can also try to do it from the bottom up. Just do your best to make sure that you have the insight necessary to make the planning process a success. No matter how difficult it may seem to achieve your goals, it is nothing compared to the negativity we place on our own shoulders when we convince ourselves that what we want to accomplish is impossible and too big for one single person to do on their own. That's not true. You can walk on water and create the reality of your choosing simply by learning how to plan and break your goals down into manageable chunks. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. 
Content produced and distributed by All Super Info.